We will tell you the 14 things you buy that make you poor. If you start avoiding these useless items, you will surely become rich. Watch this video till the end because the 14th item is really very special thing and important. Now let's start. 1. Brand new vehicle. For those looking to save money, the recommendation to avoid buying a new car is frequent. The value of an automobile drops precipitously. Most drivers know this. NerdWallet reports that after the first year, the value drops between 20% and 30%, and then between 15% and 18% annually over the next five years. Used automobiles will get you where you need to go at a much lesser price and are a great option if you're attempting to save money or are on a tight budget. But most of the poor people never hear this advice and buy new cars and later end up crying. The average price of a new automobile in November 2023 was over $50,000. But the average price of a used car was approximately $10,000 lower, according to IC Cars. 2. A bread machine. Bread machines are just one example of the many time-saving and practical kitchen tools on the market. However, baking bread in your oven is really very simple. Prices for bread makers usually range from $50 to $200. Making bread in a bread machine is more expensive than purchasing it or baking it at home, and you'll need to bake a lot of loaves before it's worth the space it takes up on your counter or in your cabinets. The poor never understand this and buy it to save time, but later end up paying more in electricity consumption and purchasing cost. If you want to know more amazing tips and tricks to get rich, then do press the subscribe button and also the like button. 3. Keeping tabs on credit Signing up for a credit monitoring service gives some Americans peace of mind before they make a big purchase, like a house or vehicle. But these services, which may cost $30 monthly at the most, won't do anything to keep your credit from falling. They'll only notify you when it has. Getting a free copy of your credit report from your bank or a credit card provider is the simplest option. In addition, yearly credit reports from Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion are required by law to be free of charge. 4. Premium Gas Some motorists may like to splurge on premium gasoline, the finest available for their vehicle, whenever they fill up their tanks. However, even if the gasoline is more costly, it is quite unlikely that it would provide any further advantages. Premium gas may be better for engines that have turbochargers or high compression ratios, but these automobiles are in the minority. Standard and premium gasoline are almost indistinguishable in terms of their effects on engines that do not possess one of these vehicles. Over all these factors, the poor still invest money into premium fuel and make a huge loss in the long run. In its ruling against Exxon, the Federal Trade Commission said, Most cars don't need and won't benefit with high-test gas, so paying extra for premium gas is wasting money. 5. Single-Use Straws Many eateries have begun using reusable straws instead of single-use plastic ones in an effort to reduce their environmental impact. Due to their non-biodegradability, the billions of these straws that Americans throw away each week wind up in landfills or the seas, despite their little size. These are very small matters to consider but still these small efforts add up. Many shops now have metal or glass straws instead of the once popular plastic ones. These washable and reusable straws will save you money in the long run if you use straws at home. 6. Vegetables that have been sliced You can usually get fruits and vegetables, as well as other produce, pre-portioned and chopped in grocery shops and convenience stores. Although purchasing this fruit can be a little more convenient and save you some time slicing, it is likely not worth the additional expense. The average markup for pre-cut vegetables in supermarkets is 40%, according to Food Journal Kitchen. Picking out and chopping your own produce instead of purchasing pre-portioned and packed options is probably time well spent. 7. Stylish New Attire People go to great lengths to ensure they seem their best while getting ready for formal events. 
this is a once-in-a-lifetime occasion. So naturally, many engaged couples are prepared to splurge on their wedding attire. Of all the formal wear you own, you probably won't wear it more than once. While men's suits may be worn several times, tuxedos are more of a one-time usage. Dress trends come and go for women at a dizzying rate, and there's almost never an occasion when you may wear your wedding gown again. Renting or purchasing gently used formal attire may save a ton of money without sacrificing style for those big occasions. 8. OTC medications from well-known brands Allergies, cold and flu symptoms, aches and pains, gastrointestinal problems, and more may be alleviated with over-the-counter medication that is carried by pharmacies. You may see commercials for both name-brand and generic versions of the same medicine on television or computer. Many large-scale pharmacies produce generic versions of popular brand-name pharmaceuticals. All things considered, the efficacy, dose, and safety profile of these generic versions of brand-name medications are the same. In most cases, the only difference is the cost. Generics are far less expensive. 9. Annuity To put it simply, an annuity is a contract wherein one party, often an insurance company, agrees to receive monthly payments from another party, often the person, for the remainder of the beneficiary's life in exchange for the initial investment. Anyone who is confident in their ability to handle their own money shouldn't buy an annuity. You are essentially tied into the payment stream under these agreements, making it impossible to switch retirement programs. Because the annuity management business usually charges a commission, they are also expensive. Investing in an annuity may be a good way to protect your money from the ups and downs of the market, but index funds are usually a better long-term choice because of their consistent performance. 10. A Complex Vitamin Annually, Americans shell out over $12 billion for multivitamins. The advantages, however, do not seem to outweigh the costs of taking the supplements. According to an analysis conducted by Johns Hopkins University, multivitamins do not lower the risk of cardiovascular disease or memory loss. The medical community advises a diet rich in protein, vegetables, whole grains, and fruits rather than multivitamins. You may reduce your risk of illness by eating these foods, which are rich in vitamins and minerals. 11. Pasta Machine Home chefs may be enticed to purchase a pasta maker to produce their own spaghetti from scratch as fresh pasta is a tasty meal option. You probably won't be making fresh pasta very frequently, and these specialized devices might be a pain to operate and clean. Price ranges for pasta makers may be as wide as $40 to $200. It would take a lot of noodles to cover the cost of the materials and make the pasta machine a good investment. For the most part, regular dried noodles from the shop should do the trick. You can create fresh pasta from scratch with nothing more than your hands and a knife if you're dead set on making it yourself. 12. A Mobile House in contrast to more conventional dwellings, mobile houses often do not gain value over time. Actually, their worth tends to decline with time. Because they are not affixed to the land in any permanent way, these houses are regarded as personal property rather than real property. The interest rates on loans for mobile homes are often much higher than those for other types of personal property. Many people keep their mobile homes in parks, and those owners still have to pay rent. Mobile homes may have a lower initial cost, but they are not a good long-term investment due to depreciation and high interest rates. If you're looking to save money, buying a conventional house is usually the way to go. 13. Infant Footwear A new parent's first priority is making sure their infant stays warm. Even if they're worried about their child's feet, Parents should know that infants who can't walk yet don't require shoes. Baby shoes won't cut it when a kid starts walking since they'll have grown so much. Since you will be carrying your baby around all the time, it's best to clothe them in footed pajamas or socks to keep them warm. 14. Dogs that are purebred 
People who are interested in getting a dog probably have certain requirements, such as if the dog has to be tiny enough to live comfortably in an apartment, obedient, hypoallergenic, or adorable. People looking to buy a dog could contact dog breeders to locate a dog that fits these descriptions. Luxury, purebred canines may range in price from several thousand to several thousand dollars. But there are a few problems with these customized pets. There are a lot of animals that are produced and brought up in horrible, cruel ways. Additionally, some health problems are more common in different breeds. If you're looking for a dog, a mongrel from the shelter is a good bet since they're usually calm, inexpensive, and already housebroken. Plus, you could be saving a life. Subscribe to our channel and watch the video appearing on the left side to know whether someone is rich or not.